Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. If you're looking for some of the best south of the border food, you have to head north. In this week's Best of Minnesota, you voted Cafe Zona Rosa in Walker as having the best fajitas in the state. There's something in the water in Walker. It already claimed the best American Legion and the best golf hole in Minnesota. In a town of only 950 people, it seems they're all here for the best fajitas. It's really good. You could have an absolutely full belly. And as soon as a fajita comes walking by with that sizzling, it makes you hungry all over again. Walker draws people from all over the world for the cabin life on Leech Lake. But once they get a taste of the fajitas at Cafe Zona Rosa, it's a whole new reason to visit. We had a dream. We were going to open a restaurant, and there was no Mexican restaurants in the area. The woman who started it all is Debbie Wilkening. Not what you were expecting? It's German. So how did a German Minnesotan find herself cooking some of the best fajitas in the Midwest? It started with a love of traveling. She and her husband Gary would often go to Mexico and fell in love with the food and the culture. Everything's so fresh. It's a happy food. People are happy when they eat Mexican food. They bought the corner building in 1996 and opened a restaurant, naming it Cafe Zona Rosa, after a neighborhood in Mexico City. But getting the spice of a Mexican food to catch on in a small Minnesota town well, wasn't easy. The first couple years were very challenging. Things changed when a chef visiting Walker offered to revamp the menu. The rest is history. The recipe for their famous fajitas hasn't changed. There are the basics, meat, yellow, red, and green peppers, onions, and then... Some special seasoning. And Do I get to know what's in the special no. seasoning? Oh, come on! <laughs> Everything is prepared fresh, from slicing vegetables, green and yellow in this case... It's for you Packer fans. ...to grilling the meats. I picked shrimp and chicken for mine. Everything's topped with their special seasoning. And if you want to know how hot it is, just listen. The fajitas are served on a cast iron skillet that's been over a flame for 15 minutes. How you stack them is up to you. Cheers. It's spicy, but not too spicy. And the shrimp is done perfectly. The fajitas are big enough to share. You just may not want to. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's my fajitas, right? <laughs> It's the sound and taste of success for a woman who just decided to follow a passion and has given life on the lake a little kick. Hi, I'm Deb from Cafe Zona Rosa in Walker, Minnesota. And we are the best fajitas in Minnesota! Yum, yum. Yes. Cafe Zona Rosa has a special on fajitas for Cinco de Mayo. And they also make all of their salsa in-house that you can buy to take home. And we have some here and we've been eating. And it's, and it's pretty darn good, let yeah, me tell you. Yeah, it's excellent. You can tell it's fresh, for sure. Oh, very, I'm sorry. very nice. Take some. I don't think you can, well, you want to read this first and then you can eat as much oh, as you I'm want. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don't let this get in the way of the show. <clears throat> Next Thursday at 10, we're going to look for the best brunch in Minnesota ahead of Mother's Day. And CCO viewers narrowed it down to four of their favorites. And you can actually vote now at WCCO.com slash best of MM. So